kinain ko. Wala namang bechin yun. <laughs> Good evening, partner. Good evening, coach. <laughs> Alam mo, ano yung ano yung madating mo ngayon? Na parang uh, natural na natural. Yung natural. Look mo. Ayan. <laughs> Alam mo, may mga puno-puno ko pa dyan sa likod. Kahit hindi ko magalaw. <laughs> Tsaka so, forever maliwanag. Maulan ba dyan? Maulan? Malu- maulan, maulan. Actually, since start ng August, below 30 degrees na dito. Eh. So, parang, oy, parang parating na si Jo Marichan. Ah. Dumat, bukas na, nag-ahanap. Oh, May makeup na nga kanina eh. Sumisilip ko as early as August eh. Ang dami na ng mga meme. Ang daming mga early birds ngayon. Nakakatawa na parang na-miss nila tayo at na-miss din namin kayo, Mr. Jess Pineda. Peachy de la Cruz from Unilever Food Solutions. Siyempre, no? si best friend natin, Andrito. Ayan. Speaking of uh, flowers and plants, no? Jazz Pestanya Distrito. <laughs> heart, heart, heart. Jet Nava, magandang gabi sa iyo, brother. Melody Isagiri, syempre sumusuporta sa kanyang uh, kaibigan na ating uh, panauhin sa gabing to ang ating guest. No? Si Miss Peachy, alam mo, nakaka-inspire to pag nakita ko yung pangalan dahil naalala ko yung simulang simula ng mga idea nitong Resto Coach. Magandang mm-hmm. gabi rin sa iyo, Miss Mel. Chef June de Guzman, syempre hindi pa uhuli kahit pagod na kahit pagod. Kahit busy. No, nasanay-sanay maghilera ng mga kare-kare at mga morcon. No? Mm-hmm. Alam mo si Chef June de Guzman, nung araw, ano yan? Pagka sobrang usay niya magluto, ayan. Uh, sobrang sarap niya magluto pag may mga outing kami. No? Something you look forward to pag siya yung nagluluto. Eh. Ay. Uh, yung outing sa restaurant noon, ano yun, madaling araw yun. Kasi hintay muna magsara yung restaurant. Eh. So naalala ko yung mga luto na yun. Ni Chef June de Guzman ng Malabon. Siyempre mga taga-Malabon yan. At uh, ito medyo malapit sa Malabon. No? Sa United Kingdom. No? Sa Ayan. <laughs> Diyan naman sa kabilang kanto lang ng Malabon. Uh-huh. Tatawid ka lang ng ilang bayan. No? Doon ka na sa UK. No? Sa England. Magandang gabi rin sa iyo. Victor Mempin. Mula sa United Kingdom. Ah, okay. Siguro para ano ano mabawasan ng agam-agam natin dito sa Pilipinas ng ating mga kababayang minamahal. Mm-hmm. No? Speak eh alam mo na isip ko parang nangyayari sa inyo yung mangyayari pa lang dito at nangyayari dito sa Pilipinas. No? In a way, 'di ba? Kasi nang galing kayo sa lockdown, 'di ba? Na matagal mm-hmm. yung panahon. Gaano ka pagaling naging lockdown sa KSM? Eh, 3 months. 3 months kami. Nationwide ba yun? Or nationwide. Ano? Nationwide siya. Mm-mm. Three months. No? Walang oh. dine-in. Walang dine-in. Oh, sana po hindi gayahin dito sa amin. No? Siyempre nakita mo naman yung post natin. No? Tayo po ay uh, with all humility na nanawagan po tayo na and I, you know, I, I really pray and uh, at the same time I thank no, yung aming mga officers sa Resto PH. No? Yung aming organization sila Mr. Eric Teng si Abanapa na naging guest natin dito pareho yan no. Uh, yes. Tatuloy sila nagtatrabaho si Mr. Spanky no, nagtatrabaho sila and the rest of the officers no. Tatrabaho sila to talk to the IATF. Nagkaroon ng bosses din yung restaurant owners mm-hmm. eh, no? So mm-hmm. they're actively working with uh, Mr. Joey Concepcion, the IATF, DTI, Sekmo na no. Uh, sinusulong nga namin no and uh, again, again sa ABS yung DCMM no nakarang weekend no nabigyan din ng pagkakataon ni Mr. Uh, Alvin El Chico si President Eric Teng at si Mr. Joy Concepcion na uh, magsalita tungkol mm-hmm. sa panawagan na sana ibigyan ng ano no ng uh, kaluwagan ay uh, yung mga bakunado ay mapayagan na mag-dine in yes mm-hmm. as a ano naman no? uh, para makatulong dun sa pagbangon ng ekonomiya at sa kanong mga essential services kaya ng restaurants no? tama oo 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 so, Pinag-pepray namin yan, September 8, malalaman. No? Kasi nagkaroon na ng pag- paghatol na hanggang September 7. Kaya nga tinatanong kita, no? three months ng lockdown and then after that, ano nangyari? Ayun, after three months, kasi nakita na nga na nasa, ano na kami, nasa 60% na ng um, percentage ng, ang tawag namin is VCR, vaccination coverage rate. Mm-hmm. So, hindi na namin... I mean, realistically, hindi na ginago for yung zero cases kasi mahirap naman talaga yon. Nandun lang wow. tayo dun sa may makokontrol natin na part na 
um, vaccination. So pag na- Parang sinabi mo na zero, zero ang magkakasipon sa buong bansa. Mismo. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Kasi hindi na talagang tanggap na, na we will live with COVID. It's a matter of how do we live with it in a hmm. way na mamamanage natin. So with vaccinations, mas mamamanage natin. So nung nakita na na sa 60% na kahit medyo madami pa yung new cases, nag-open na. Nag-start na nag-open yung mga dining. And Um, I'm quite proud to say na konti yung resistance na pag sinasabi na yung mga vaccinated lang yung pwedeng papasukin. Wala akong masyado narinig na merong pag ano doon yung pag um, contest. So ngayon, ano lang, compliance lang din. Yung no- normal may SOPs, yung distancing, kailangan may mask. Tapos meron kasi kaming app na pag na-vaccinate ka, doon makikita kung dalawa na yung dose mo. Kasi after two doses, dapat 14 days after pa pwede ka mag-dine-in. Ayun, maganda naman. Tsaka, ang sarap-sarap ng feeling ng makapag-dine-in uli after three months. <laughs> Oo nga. Kami nga, makapagsilbi lang hmm. ng, sa mga gustong mag-dine-in. Oh. Tsaka, iba, iba rin yung ngiti ng mga taga-restaurant pagdating namin. Parang ikaw, parang, parang kaibigan mo na miss. Ganun, ganun yung feeling. Parang ikaw ang bigay ng may kapal. Yun, yun, yun. yun. <laughs> <laughs> mismo, mismo. <laughs> ah, kamis eh. No? Yun yung sinasabi ko. No? Ako po, hindi po ako nag-invento ng story. Yan po ay nangyari sa KL, sa Malaysia. Kinikwento ng kaibigan natin. So, when they reach 60% vaccination. no And maganda, tama yung sinabi mo. Pinakamalaking aspeto yun. Eh, no? At uh, napakaganda nung mensahe naman kasi hindi naman natin didiscriminate yung mga hindi bakunado. No, sa halip, no binibigyan lang natin ng uh, ng karapat ng uh, ikapagkakataon na makalabas yung mga bakunado na. Para at least sabang nag- naghihintay ng bakuna iba, tumutulong naman yung mga bakunado para magkaroon ng consumption para mabuhay yung ating mga ekonomiya. Hindi mahihingi yung buong Pilipinas gawin yun eh, no? Yung mga lugar lang gaya ng NCR na malapit na yata mag 50% na I think by September 8 mag 50% na kaya yun yung hinihintay. So pag-pray po natin yan mga karesto negosyo na by September 8, hayaan na pong, uh, payagan na po makapag-dine-in yung mga vaccinated. At ako, yung pinag-pray ko yung, ano, yung pagbabago ng mindset yes. na hindi tayo ang antagonistic, no? lalo pa yung mga hindi bakunado, wala pong masamang intensyon sa inyo ang mga taga-restaurant industry sapagkat patuloy po kami magsisilbi, dine-in, delivery, carry-out, no? ano po yung kailangan nyo. No, we will try to open uh, and reopen as many stores as possible. No, at uh, sa mga nagbibigay po ng platform sa mga taga-restaurant upang marinig ang aming boses, maraming maraming salamat po. Kailangan po natin, no? kailangan po natin ng tulungan ng isa't isa. Eh talaga namang nakita natin, essential talaga yung restaurant industry. Ano? Mm-hmm. So, alam mo, nakakatuwa itong mga nanonood sa atin dahil parang sila-sila nagbabatian na. No? Hindi na tayo binabati na lang, nagbabatian na sila. <laughs> Community Ngayon, Chef na. Chef Jordan Bernardo, kanina kakwentuhan ko lang ito. No? Sabi niya, good evening po sa lahat. No? Chef Jordan Bernardo, Mad Cafe. Ito, nakakatuwa itong mag-asawang ito. Dito tayo nagbatian. No? Hello to Jake Castro, sabi ng kanyang asawang si Tina Castro. Magkata- <laughs> <laughs> Magkatabi lang naman niya, nasa Las Vegas, Nevada. Ngayon ang gabi dyan sa, ang gandang araw sa itong mga taga Las Vegas. No? Nakakamiss pumunta dyan. Ayan, no? ayan na sa Sa andun na nga yung asawa niya, nagbinati na siya. Si John Eldrick na, siyempre. No? At ang mga taga kagaya ni Jazz, nasa mga negosyo ng mga events, no? mm-hmm. at mga pagko-coordinate ng mga weddings. Sabi niya, ang dami talagang naka, yung mga nagpapakasal ngayon, naka ano siya eh, nakaantabay lang sila eh. Nagre-reserve ng pecha, tapos alam mo yun, mm-hmm. So, hindi na talaga nawawala ang pag-asa sa forever. Ayan po. Magpuhay po tayong mga ikakasal. No? <laughs> Huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Huwag natin yan. Pandemya lang yan. Tao tayo. No? 1918 po. Nangyari na yan. No? 1920, tapos na. No? And, alam mo, after that, di ba, yun yung Roaring Twenties, sabi nga, di ba? So, ano lang tayo? The best is ah, it to come. Ayan, parating na. Si Miss Angel Baterna, congratulations sa kanyang bagong uh, lipat, mga bagong lipat yan. Nakakatuwa yung gano'n, no? yung nakakapag-ipon para sa bahay. Congratulations. God bless you. At si Nats, no? at uh, Nats Tobias, at ang lahat ng mga taga-Rosario Complex ng mga Buffalo Swings and Things, sobrang consistent ng mga batang ito ang gagaling, ang huhusay. Sige, mag-recap tayo ang nakaraang episode. Sa dami na kaganapan dito sa Pilipinas, nakalimutan ko na yung nakaraang episode. Ayun, actually... Ah, ano? <laughs> Pero sobrang tuhog yung last episode natin sa this episode kasi first point pa lang nating top three takeaways is build brand trust. Mm-hmm. Parang nangyayari dito sa ating ano no past few episodes 
nagiging serious siya about marketing. Sapagat alam naman na and branding. Because alam naman natin na isa sa pinakamalinaw na struggle ng mga restaurants ngayon ay yung benta. ba? Diba? Pero alam niyo yung benta, hindi dapat diretso sa benta. Eh. Diba? May brand building muna. Sabi nga, no, ang ganda ng word, no, brand trust. No, para bagang tao yung brand na kailangan pagkatiwalaan. At nagtitiwala. No? Ipinagkakatiwala mo yung brand mo. At eh, gaya namin, nagpa-franchise kami, pinagkakatiwala namin yung brand namin. But at the same time, yung pinakamalaking bagay ng equation is yung pagtitiwala ng tao sa brand. Sa panahon na predominantly delivery yung transactions at hindi normal, no? napakahalaga po ng tiwala ng tao para ikaw yung piliin, no? yung preference na tinatawag. Mm-hmm. Ayun. Tapos yung second point natin yung expand your reach and increase your customer base. Yes. Pag meron ka ng brand trust, may tiwala na sa brand mo yung mga tao, then you can expand your reach. No? Pakilala mm-hmm. mo yung brand mo sa mas malawak na merkado, no? yung underserved, no? unserved. No? And right now, no? paalala lang, syempre yung population hindi naman tumigil sa pag ano, may pinapanganak pa rin bata, so may pag-asa pa tayo. And, and there's always a market that's on top. Ang maganda ngayon, no? with all this, these developments sa uh, aggregators, online ordering, uh, logistic solutions, yung reach natin ngayon, mas malayo na. Nung nagsimula kami ng delivery, nung 1997-98 siguro yan, nung mga bagong ano ng delivery yan sa Pilipinas, no? yung sa Jollibee pa ako noon. Ang radius namin, ano yan, 3 kilometers, malayo na yun. Mm. Ngayon, umaabot na hanggang 10 kilometers yung grab long distance. Eh. So, you know, it, you know, it means na yung capital investment po natin sa isang restaurant, nasusulit, no? Kasi ang layo po ng reach eh. No? Kasi hub na yan, eh. hindi na yun yung tipo na yung rider aalis, kailangan pa bumalik sa tindahan. Hindi na eh. Network of riders yan eh, na kung saan sila nandoroon malapit sa restaurant. So we need to take advantage of that and you know, there are a lot of ways of expanding your reach to social media. But the best way to expand your reach is to be consistently executing no? uh, and making your customers come back. Yes. Yun naman ang sekreto sa restaurant talaga. Mm-mm-mm. Return. Um, the third point is yung update your business models. Yes, so sa panahon ngayon, napakadaming ano, no, napakadaming pagbabago, hindi tayo pe- pwedeng maiwan, no? Uh, sabi ko sana sa pansitan pero restaurant nga <laughs> pinag-uusapan. Talaga <laughs> like, maraming nasa pansitan. So hindi tayo pwedeng maiwanan, no? Ibig sabihin, no, maging maano rin tayo, hindi rin naman pwedeng knee jerk na tinatawag, no, yung kada may mangyari, nag-a-react ka. No? You have to study it and exercise due diligence for you to be able to evaluate and assess ano yung mga nababagay na pagbabago na dapat mong i-apply sa iyong kumpanya at sa iyong team, di ba? At sa iyong, in, in a case of restaurant, sa iyong menu. Di ba? The way you market it. No? So even yung, and ayoko masyadong mag-usap ng branding kasi bisita natin yan ng expert sa branding. No? So ayoko i-preempt. No? So aside from you, meron tayong bisita ngayon na eksperto sa branding. Mm-hmm. Pakilala mo na, Chef. Ayan. Excited ako kasi talagang bukod sa ano siya, salong-salo siya from the last episode natin kasi ang ating episode 66 ay From Vision to Action. How Strong Brands Build Confidence for Success. And we're very proud to pre- present to you the founder of Blue Thumb Brand Experience Agency, si Ms. Cherry ko. Hi, Ms. Cherry. Ayan Hi, Ms. Cherry. Ayan. Hintayin natin siya. Mm-mm. Ayan, si Miss Cherry. Magandang gabi sa'yo, Miss Cherry. Good evening. Ayan, napaka-soft-spoken na ating brand expert <laughs> ni Miss Cherry. <laughs> Ayan. Actually, ah, sige, para ano tayo, um, magsa-start muna tayo just to, to give us a background of your career, of your career journey and what you do and who you are. Um, so I've been doing this um, 21 years and um, I started out actually, my, my course in college was industrial design. Wow, okay. But um, <laughs> I na, went lang sa branding and graphic design because um, during that time, wala masyadong industry for industrial design in the Philippines. So that's, um, yeah, and, and I decided not to stay here instead of go abroad. So, um, in, and um, I started out, um, I think it was more of graphic design that we were doing at the very beginning. And um, 
but later on parang the more that we understood what people needed na, na parang yun nga, they needed something more um we started talking to the owners before kasi parang in the beginning we were um, working more with marketing and branding wasn't really uh, known or parang it wasn't like a priority back then it was more of graphic design and marketing but um when people started to understand yeah, that the brand is what represents you and symbolizes what you do yun dyan siya mas nagkaroon ng um yeah, na parang people understood that they had to be unique or um, in terms of how they looked. But I think um, what we also understood from the market was we needed to connect not just how you looked with being you know, impressive or to be catchy, but to also connect what you really stand for with how you look. So parang connect lang namin so that it's more authentic to what the company is really doing. Ah, so para nagkaroon siya ng ang ganda ng yung yung segmo from visual representation to actual branding. Kasi di ba yun yung well, that's the way um, a lot of people understand graphic design, correct? Yeah. So aside from yung mga logo, ano yung mga elements ng graphic design for the for, for the benefit of the the audience? Um graphic design? Yeah, okay. yung the, I mean, yeah, yung what you kasi 21 years eh, di ba? From mm-hmm. graphic design tapos nag nag jump ka to to branding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Parang the, the way the market operated is like they would um, come to you for different things. Like some companies would come to you for a logo, some would come for you for websites. And parang it would always be like, um, like, paisa isa. And that was getting so um, tiring because like you'll be jumping from one project to another. And some of these companies, like they don't even have like brand standards or they don't have like an identity for you to base mm-hmm. um, your design on. So parang sabi namin, parang ang, ang hirap because it's like, it's all disjointed. So you have different suppliers delivering on your assets. Design is an asset if it's something that is um, holistic and really, you know, stands for something and, and it's consistent at every interaction that your customers see you or interact with you. Diba? So, yeah, and so that's where it all kind of started, where we pieced it together that it needed to be more whole for it to be better appreciated by your third customers. Um, Ayan, so gusto, gusto ko actually, Coach, ang dami niyang nasabi na parang um, some points na we are quite familiar with but we don't really grasp. For example, when she said identity and asset. Yun yung two things na for resto negosyantes. Parang inisip po lang, di ba, asset, yung mga machine sa sa restaurant or yung mga yung what we actually buy na mm-hmm. na mahahawakan ito tangible, yung mga, tangible tangible yeah. items so this one ito na yung binibuild branding in itself could even be more in even uh, astoundingly more valuable than the yes. tangible assets if i may ano may, may, may interject no? alam mo yung natuwa ako dun sa sinabi kanina no? and the word that came to my mind uh, was cohesiveness Kasi guilty kami dyan eh. Dati, no? Dati pa, even when I was still uh, working as a manager, a director sa mga companies ng Kabong ko, a lot, of, a lot of people would, you know, would uh, feel that they are marketing experts eh. No? When ang pinag-uusapan lang, logo, no promo, no it's, it's ano, tama yung sinabi ni Ms. Cherry, it's a holistic approach dapat. Kabuuan, no? It's, it's, it needs to be cohesive and uh, ika nga identifiable as one. No, sabi mo nga, totoo po yun, mga kapwa resto negosyante, mga food negosyante, you know, yung investment po natin sa physical assets ng, ng, ng restaurant, sa kusina, sa pag-build ng tindahan, kasing halaga din po ng pag invest sa brand. No, actually, yun yung nagsusustain sa negosyo and I don't want to preempt the discussion but ako lang medyo passionate ako dyan because lately ko lang naintindihan talaga ng gusto sa tulong din ni Michelle no? at saka na mga iba kong naka-interact about you know the bigger the bigger meaning of marketing and branding no and how it can actually uh, make the value of your company appreciate and you know let, let's look no further yung mga super brands di ba yung Coca-Cola na yung value ng brand pa lang no siguro napakalaki na eh no kumpara dun sa value ng Nike di ba yun yung mga tipong recognizable worldwide and global brands na Disney, no? Although marami silang assets talaga na siguro, real estate and properties and, and talents and you know, what have you, but the value of the brand, 
hindi mo masusukat yan eh. No, napakahirap yung phrase. But again, no, pag gusto nyo magtagal, magtagal sa negosyo, brand is very important. Investing in the brand. Ayun. So, we go to the to the ano, the, to the highlight of the entire episode pagdating dun sa um, insights regarding the top current challenges being faced by resto and food brands or negotiantes and examples in, in your in your experience on how proper branding and brand communication have helped your clients. Sige, you can ano, share the screen. Mm-hmm. Magsi-share ng screen at habang nagsi-share ng screen si Miss Cherry, babatiin natin si uh, Si Ate Teresa Catador ng, of course, ang mga taga-Australia, Donald Tenorio and Chef Genevieve Tenorio. Magandang gabi sa inyo dyan sa Down oh, ang sarap, Under. Ang sarap ng bago nilang mga sinishare, Diyos Mes. Oo, oh, nakita mo yung mga pastries. No? Kaya si Donald, hindi tumataba. No? Siguro pa na yung exercise na ito. Si Yam, magandang gabi sa iyo. Yam, Miss Yam ng Pasinio. No? At uh, si Chito Hauregi, Commissioner Chito Hauregi, maraming salamat sa support nyo sa coach and share. Sige po, go ahead, Miss Cherry. So there's this um, quote by Nelson Bandela that I, um, pre-pandemic, um, I discovered it and I felt that it was very relevant to me in the beginning of my career and as well as um, uh, business owners. Um, like, I feel like pwede pang maging mas klaro and mas buo yung vision. Like, um, minsan kasi minamadali natin yung vision, whether it's for compliance or we need something on our wall or something for the employees. Diba? Pero if we, diba, parang if we really... Eh, habos sa team building. If it's something that we all really believe in, diba, parang mas... Um, powerful yun. So here, um, vision without action is merely a dream. But for it to become na an action, it needs to be something that you and your people believe in together. And I'm sorry, um, here pala. <laughs> I switched. And action naman without having a vision will just pass time. Because sometimes we focus on surviving, diba? Like we're focused on paying the bills for um, the, the salaries. <laughs> At least that's how I was thinking when I was in a survival mode um, earlier on. And um, you know, actually this pandemic gave me a lot of time to think. <laughs> Otherwise, I think I would still be in a very action-oriented. Na, yun. So parang pag action lang tayo ng action, yes, um, we're progressing and we're also taking up time, but yung progress natin isn't like going towards our vision because we didn't naman set it clearly in the first place. So having naman, um, both a very clear vision, um, it can guide your actions. Diba? You, you'll know kung saan ka headed and you'll also know, know kung where you are in related to that vision, diba? where you're currently standing. So mas klaro yun for everyone including yourself. And if it's clear that the, the impact that you're making, then it can change your world. So, I mean, the quote is about changing the world, but I, I think that it's applied to your world because you know your own self and you know your own world and what, is, um, what needs fixing in it. So it's just a matter of, are you going to do it or not? So... Um, I define what for me is a powerful vision and I think I did this because I turned when I turned in my 40s <laughs> but um, that's when um, I started to think about um, my life and am I just gonna live my life to survive or do I want something more um, meaningful and fulfilling so you know, um, my vision, or when I create a vision, or when I suggest to our clients on their vision, um, I, I recommend that it has purpose. So um, how is it like uh, uh, useful or something that is like maybe your frustration? Like, um, cause, cause you need a vision that will pull you to want to do it. So it has to be something that really inspires you or really frustrates you. Like you want to solve um, something that is really important to you, right? 
kasi nga na, nadaanan mo siya nadaanan mo yung pain na yun and then um it's also important to consider the people diba? the people in your um group or in your family and i think if you consider naman your people as your family and your family like your people diba? Parang, um i think who you are at work should be who you are at home so kung anong values na you're teaching your children i think that's similar to what you're also teaching your people um and then the planet um so because of like what's happening not with the pandemic and everything i think it's it's really a must that um we consider how our business is impacting our planet um and um yun, parang there's just so much more to what this world is um about that we don't know yet and and if we're not um careful with it then you know what can we leave for future generations um and then for product naman um this could be either your product or your service um so for me i think um there are so many businesses na in the world in the philippines so why not think of a product that is um kumbaga filling a gap that hasn't been filled pa. Kasi nga, um, di ba marami ng burgers, for example, but maybe there's like a special burger that answers a need, like, um, I don't know, for, um, di ba, a low, or maybe, well, marami ng vegan burgers ngayon, but, um, <laughs> di ba, maybe like uh, for diabetics, because like, di ba, the bread is, um, it could be, jack up their um, like sugar so levels, di ba? So, maybe oh, something ano, like people Oo nga, Miss Cherry, na... nahanap ko lang yung ano, eh, chicken, grilled chicken burger. Oh. <laughs> hindi, hindi nga masyadong ano, pero you'll be surprised at how few, how few mm-hmm. lang yung restaurants that offer grilled chicken, grilled chicken sandwiches. Kung meron man, sobrang pricey. Mm-hmm. No, pero itong kaibigan natin, of course, so, is um, our Actually, when I was in college, Carl's, <clears throat> uh, Carl's Jr., right? Yes, yes, oh, yes, tama. Yes. Yun din ang tapong mind ko, Carl's Jr. Santa Fe. Di ba? Mm. Santa Fe Burger. Di ba? If you remember. Yes. Yun yung inahanap ko sana. Yung Brothers Burger, meron sila kanina. Yun yung lunch ko eh. Mm. Red Chicken. Pero you would wish na marami sana mag-offer na. Tama si Miss Cherry, no? Ibang-ibang segment, no? Masabi, binabanggit ko nga si Zarks, di ba? Nag-offer na rin siya ng iba pang brand. Yung Race Hot Chicken. It's catering naman to those who are really into the Nashville hot no? na Tennessee style ano no hot chicken sandwich spicy pero tama ka merong mga gaps no parang na trigger na ako marami kung sinusulat dito sa notebook ko ngayon mga gaps that we can fill go ahead miss Cherry sorry And po something na related din sa iyo diba maybe it's a gap that you feel is important to fill because it's something that you feel so maybe um coach Ramel you you should make the chicken burger <laughs> Because you're the one looking oh, for nga. it. Oh, parang pinapasa ko pa. Oh, nga. Parang layo pa eh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you feel strongly about it. So it means that chances are of you bringing it to life is diba, greater Tama. than somebody Tama. who just wants to do it as a business. And then um, prosperity naman. Um, well, I guess I was thinking of like um, profitability, diba? They have the three Ps, profitability, um, people, and planet, diba? Parang ganun. But I changed it to prosperity because I think it's not just about profitability. It's also, um, diba? Parang prosperity is, means wealth. Diba? And wealth is more than just money. I mean, hmm. um, it's like, how do you want to do it? Or until how big do you want to grow? Or maybe can you automate certain things so that um, you wouldn't have to like exert so much effort and you can actually have time for other things. So I guess in, if you look at this, the five Ps, it's, it could also be like your, your definition of what success is. So if you can define it according to this, um, yeah, you're defining your vision at the same time um, success or how you want to see yourself in the future. Um, um, so 
I'll, I think you were asking me about how I started. So my first client was uh, Fruta. So wala pong blue thumb nung time na ito. Parang bagong, ano pa lang, bagong labas pa lang ako ng ahensya. And um, so, so Lester approached me and asked me to do his um, brand for, for, well, back then it was called Frutas. So, um, but because he shared nga his grand vision with me, which was, um, he wanted to be in all SM stores, mm -hmm. then that already, um, I mean, it helped me visualize it and advise him uh, maybe he'd like to call it Frutas instead because, I mean, we have foreigners visiting our SM malls and mm -hmm. but then it doesn't like sound like it just came from the Palenque. Mm -hmm. So the name, um, oh, sorry. Um So from fruit, fruit test to fruit, fruit test. Yeah, fruit test to. Um, so this is already the evolved logo that um, they evolved it into. But the assets that I created was um, the cup. So oh, this that. was I their signature that. cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So twenty-one uh, years. Back then, yeah, I was all in-house, so, like, because I was still freelancing then that time, but, yeah, I was, so, stylist, photographer, illustrator, one man, I mean, one person, so, these are assets, and, um, nung time na yun, we were looking at, um, their competitors who were more, um, who were more high-end, and, um, yung identity nila, or how they were portraying themselves were more, um, cute or they were positioning more as like um well I, I won't mention the names anymore but but the look that they had um didn't focus on being natural so that's why um we leveraged on being natural so the colors are very um real the photos are realistic and so versus the others who were going more the cartoony pastel route mm -hmm. Um, so, and, um, I, so Lester was very good at being consistent. He, he really, um, he kept not that cup design. He changed it now, but he, he still kept the elements there. So even if other people try to copy the cup, which they did, um, sobrang kilala na siya, um, associated with Frutas, kasi nga Frutas is in all the SM stores. So inunahan na niya and it, it, kumbaga, it stuck in people's mind that the cup with the fruits is Frutas. And now they have um, 400 stores nationwide. They employ deaf, um, deaf people to, to do their juices. Um, itong 954 is like their other stores. Pa. Pero yeah, for Frutas, they have 400. And they're now valued at 2 billion pesos. So in 21 years, um, I'm not saying that I'm responsible for um, his um, growth, but the name the Baparang, gives you an identity that you can own. So you own that space, mm -hmm. na yung fruit juice na natural, um, is from fruit dust. Would you like to? Ayan. Actually, I just like to, ano, to, to point out yung importance to some people. They might think parang, ay, maliit lang pala yung change na yung from frutas to frutas. But to me, especially when you mentioned yung marami ng gumagaya, it's a testament of how well you're doing already. Kasi yung space na yun, ibig sabihin, people do see na na-occupy na yung space na yun. Now they want to um, to eat into that space of the market. Ay, hindi na. Na-occupy na ni frutas. And um, another point that you've, you've highlighted, you, you mentioned you were in an uh, agencia before. I think, and the importance of, you know, a brand identity or your assets is to make sure na kahit sino pang either agencia or kahit sino pang mag-handle ng brand, yung soul, kumbaga, nung, or identity ng brand, na may maintain yung consistency, yun, yung consistency niya. Hindi yung pag nagbago yung tao, magbabago yung, yung identity or DNA ng brand. Actually, mas na-appreciate ko ngayon eh. Kasi ako, I'm familiar with the brand because I, you know, in my job, I frequent the malls, you know? uh, particularly SM malls. And totoo yung sinabi, you know, yung, yung, yung association of the colors, 
Mm-hmm. And the, the name is actually, yan mo ma-appreciate yung genius behind it eh. Di ba? Simple, simple lang. Pero ano eh, no? very, ano siya, very descriptive of the the product, the brand, and how, what it represents. Di ba? Di ba? Ang galing. Galing ng pagkakapaliwanag. And that's why, sabi ko nga, no? yung investing in the brand, that's why we had Miss Sherry tonight. Also, is para emphasize sa ating mga karesto negosyo, walang shortcut sa benta eh. <laughs> shortcut doon sa diretso ka sa benta. Meron pero baka lalong you know, mapahamak yung brand mo. Kailangan alagaan mo yung brand din. Eh. So speaking of brand partners, yung ating partner sa Tugigaraw ng Buffalo Wings and Takes Tugigaraw at sa Isabela Era si Miss Minnie Tan at si Mr. Nelson Tan, magandang gabi po sa inyo. Noel Engineer Noel Marquezes, magandang gabi rin sa iyo at si Erwin Lancero, yung mga taga Laguna. Kamusta na po kayo diyan ano? At uh, mag-iingat po kayo. Si Mami Sin Pineda, no? representing Paranaque yan. Magandang gabi po. Ayan. Ayan, Minute Burger naman. Ayan. <laughs> Gusto ko yan. Nakikipasabusin ko na kanina. Ayan. Ayan, Minute Burger. So, for Minute Burger naman, um, matagal na sila sa industry, 30 years. Um, and Yung nga, parang they came to a ceiling uh, that yung nga, they most of the clients because when they come to us it's usually millennials in challenge nila. like um, mm-hmm. millennials are not buying from them or in minute burgers case they were buying because mura siya and masarap um, the challenge lang was they weren't sharing it on their Instagram or on their Facebook that they were eating <laughs> at the minute burger and they weren't bringing their barcadas so but it was like a best kept secret kind of thing and um so when we looked into their brand um the owners are very um very diligent in in coming up with recipes like innovative talaga they would go to other countries and they would um come up with you know, the best tasting they have a chicken burger but anyway um <laughs> <so coach. laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and and you know, parang they would also not scrimp on the ingredients. Kasi nga, di ba, alam naman natin, it won't taste so good if you scrimp on the ingredients. But the challenge was they were being compared to other buy one, take one kiosks because mm-hmm. nga, they were in areas na nandun din sila. Mm-hmm. I mean, katapat nila. I mean, and they were also using similar um, promos like buy one, take one. So parang it's hard not to compare you. Tapos, even the kiosk is similar. Similar, looking, yeah. Diba? Um, and, and because nga hindi siya na-upgrade, um, yun nga, parang it also affects your image. Kahit nasabihin mo quality yung binibigay mo na products, but if it's not, you know, parang presented in an environment that also reflects that quality, then hindi siya lalabas na quality. So um, we help. Oops, sorry. I keep thinking that it's on top. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. So. Um, oh, may ano. Mm-hmm. May facelift. Yan. <laughs> we help them um, parang modernize the brand so that it looks more parang up up to the times, as well as um, yung clock kasi was uh, when we were interviewing, um, we found out that the clock, maraming na did disappoint sa clock because they think nga mabilis we serve ang minute burger kasi nga may clock and then it's called minute burger pa. Mm-hmm. So we designed it so that naging happy face na lang yung clock. And mm. it's still reminiscent of the clock which is also something that the owners have a okay, sure. connection with. So parang naging win-win yung ano natin kasi um, simplified siya for the millennials, but it still had the, um, yun nga, the, the sentimental value yeah. still there. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's also something that designers have to always face, like especially when we're rebranding something that is 30 or 60 years old. Mm. Um, we need to always um, yeah, make sure that everyone's happy <laughs> in this equation. So, um, yeah, um, I'm sorry. Aside from that was the ah, store design. Nice. So, 
So, the ba parang, um, it's about, I mean, the owners or the company really prides themselves in, in their, um, their plant where they produce the burgers and it's very clean and well maintained. So, we wanted that to be translated into the stores para maramdaman ng mga customers that um, we really take pride in our food. And um, so, we also emphasize the mga ingredients. Um, oops. Um, like if you look at the mga packaging, it's about um, the putting about the ingredients or we're always highlighting the freshness. And then um, ito yung parang table nila. So we wanted it to be Instagrammable. So mm. parang mm. yung table shows the different countries that um, the burgers are from. So the burgers of Minute Burger kasi parang they each have a flavor representing different countries. And millennials like to travel. So it's like your taste buds are traveling. And yun. So parang naging um, photo wall na rin yung background. Um, and then because of um, they were now more parang ano, to millennials, it's now also something that is on Food Panda, like the image of um, Minute Burger, since they now, um, parang, yeah, they're not anymore at the level of the buy one, take one burgers mm -hmm. with the kind of image that they're giving. And Pan Food Panda also um, partners with brands that they also see that are yeah, parang same as their, like what they would trust to put on their platform. Um, so if, and we also saw that on Facebook, people were starting to share that they yeah. were at a Minute Burger. <laughs> bata na, bata na. <laughs> bata na. <laughs> and actually for the whole family and um, yun, parang maganda rin siyang i-treat sa office kasi nga it's, it's very affordable and yet it's very tasty and yun nga, generous pa kasi buy one take one and then the stores um, had more parang nagkakaroon ng pila and every time they open a new store um, so so these were some of the results that happened and this was um, pre-pandemic so this is an example of um, how the brand um, was able to, um, you know, parang what, what results happen based on the actions na ginawa ng company of you know, rebranding some of their assets. Um, so they got 100 newly rebranded stores. Um, they were able to increase their franchise inquiries by 20%. And they were also able to get 44,000 positive reactions on Facebook. Wow. Nice, um, And this is what they stand for. So this is their tagline. At the same time, it's what they stand for and believe that they're giving people everyday happiness worth sharing because it's yeah. so tasty. Oh. It's mm -hmm. affordable. Mm -hmm. It's worth sharing. Hindi na siya buy one, take one. So it's still buy one, take one, but said differently. Galing. I love this. So, uh, yung ano, no, nagkaroon ng why, yung buy one, take one. Nagkaroon right. ng magpalalim yes. na kaulugan. Uh -oh. Kaya siya buy one, take one para i-share. Mm -mm. Diba? Ang galing. Oh, hindi lang dahil mura, di ba? Parang, di ba? <clears throat> Saka tayo kasi ako, eh, hindi na ako mandadama i-share. Baka sabihin mo, pinatatanda kita. No? <laughs> so, of course, you know, as much as we don't want to name names, hindi naman masama yung ano, ibig sabihin. Yung araw kasi, nabutan ko burger machine. Mm. Mm, the burger that never sleeps. Mm. Diba? At its peak, diba? Ano yan? Eraser heads pa yung mm. ano eh. Diba? So, mm. nawala. Nag-fade din. Eh, no? And I'm happy to see Minute Burger kasi yes. kumakain ako dati nito nung sudyante pa ako eh. Oh. No? Convenience. And tama, ang ganda nung sinabi ni Miss Cherry about ano, na, na, tinake down notes. Yan. Yung mga nakikinig po sa atin, no? importante yun. Ang ganda nung intention ng mga miari. Mm -mm. Diba? Ang linis ng planta, masarap mm -mm. yung pagkain hindi sila nagtitipid sa ingredients. Mm -mm. Pero tama po kayo eh. Pagka yung tindahan, hindi nire-represent yung ganong image. Mm -mm. Di ba? Yung tindahan, uh -huh. nasa lugar na magulo o kaya hindi malinis, sa gilid ng gasolinahan, di ba? Na medyo, ah, hindi, nag, hindi nagtatransit. Pero ngayon, yung tindahan nila, nagre-rep na ano eh. Nasa na, na, ika nga na ano, no? Na, na, na translate na yung... Uh -oh. Yes, and na translate. Uh -oh. yung From vision to action. Miare, yeah, yung intention ng miare, yung vision na naisakatuparan, nakikinaramdaman ng customers. Ang galing. 
Oo. Actually, to build on that, um, Coach, yung part na hindi enough na baguhin mo yung lugo, baguhin mo yung kulay, pero it's the same thing. Malalaman ng customer yun. Eh. Totoo yun. Diba? Totoo yun. <laughs> Meron talagang investment. No? Isipin mo, 100 plus rebranded stores, 20 plus percent increase in franchise inquiries, and 44,000 positive reactions to the brand. No? And napaka-simple lang, no? pero pag kinilala mo kasi talaga yung brand, Sabi nga ni Sherry, pag inalam mo yung nasa DNA ng brand, eh, no? lumabas. And yan ang frustration ng mga may-ari ng restaurant minsan, ng may-ari ng brand. Meron silang vision, hindi nila matranslate. Eh. Hindi nila maiparating sa customer. You know, parang nakaka-frustrate. So, I, I, you know, I'm happy for them. Ang galing, galing. And they really, um, they eat their food when we're together. So that also gave me Authentic. confidence okay. that yeah, that they really love what they're feeding other people. So, um, so this is, um, so the kumbaga yung formula or this is what they're known for, the good ingredients, affordability, and accessibility. This is their, um, this is kumbaga, I would call this their, their compass. Mm -hmm. diba? compass nila when they rebrand yeah, or this was naman who they were before pa we rebranded but we use this as um what was also i mean like it also helped us in design redesigning their brand so if you look at the context of the pandemic paano nila ginamit yung brand compass nila of being everyday happiness and um, being about good food affordability and accessibility um diba during the pandemic people were concerned about their health so yung burgers that they made, they created fortified food and beverages. But they were already actually doing this pre-pandemic, but they became more relevant because of the pandemic. If I'm not mistaken, Ms. Sherry, sila yung una dyan sa ano, di ba? Yung bottom bun nila, ganyan yung itsura. Yes. I think original nila yan eh. That's what mm -hmm. differentiated them from the others before. Eh. That's true. Mm -hmm. Lalo kayo, masarap tinapay nila talaga eh. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, well, yeah. Um, so like I said, like, minsan pag mahirap, like, minsan, like, clients want to make it simpler, but I would I'd always advise them that if it's mahirap to do, that's a good thing because other people won't try to do it. And you can own that identity. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you don't even need to put a minute burger and people would know that that's a minute it burger. Is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can, I can, say, and I can tell people, pag yan yung bottom bun, minute burger yan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so kind of like the Coke bottle of um Coke, the, the yeah. sexy mm -hmm. bottle. Hindi siya mura yeah. gawin, but it's it's iconic, iconic. to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're able to use it in so many ways now, di ba? Parang yung kaninang sinasabi ni um ni Coach Mel about assets, di ba? Like si Coca Cola. Their intangible assets are actually worth more than their physical assets. So, yung mga factories, and um, if they all closed and their equipment all over the world, they would still have be able to survive because they have like licenses that, mm -hmm. um, diba, they're into chapstick, um, there's yes. Coke candy, Coke yes, yes. So, apparel. So, Baka pati, baka pati essential oil. Merong Coca-Cola na essential oil. <laughs> Probably. Um, yeah, so yeah. the Sinit Burger, um, since they're about everyday happiness, they didn't just deliver everyday happiness through their food, but as well as their social media. So people were feeling um, yung anxiety, so they tried to share mga good news or yung mga yung humor ng Minute Burger, which is yung unique to them or style nila. And um, they also um, mm -hmm. assisted their um, their franchisees kasi nga parang nobody naman knew what was gonna happen with the pandemic. Diba parang napilitan tayo to go online and to become digital all of a sudden. So, what is sila? I mean, they didn't have those like you know, tools, but they but because their brand was about being about everyday happiness, about tumulong sila sa mga um, you know, franchisees nila, and they worked with local um, logistics to to help that. And um, 
Yeah, so very grateful that the um, their franchisees because of the help and um, and they also like kept their stores open. Ganda, like so, this was at the Ganda, beginning no? of the Ganda. pandemic. Oh. Um, hindi sila nagsara because um, yun nga, they knew that it, it would provide jobs and it would also you know visibility wise people could see that you know that they're still there. Because <laughs> if um, pwede ka rin naman mag mag close or pwede ka nga mag um, which I, I mean there's no wrong or right but syempre, like um, it's really about visibility right I mean out of sight out of mind. Mm-hmm. It just depends. And siguro now where you want to be visible about on the street or in in online so um so this was uh based on the early pandemic what happened um so they increased by 30,000 facebook followers and in making 80 percent total sales um nila came from delivery but this mm-hmm. was like you know, matag- pre-pandemic like, mm-hmm. at the beginning of the yes oh no at the beginning of the pandemic or mid-pandemic Sabi ni ano Miss Cherry, sabi ni Ronel Quison, no? photographer to eh. Si Ronel Quison, client daw niya si Minute Burger. Ayun. Oh, uh, siya pa lang nagpi-picture-picture din ng iba. Si Pastor Ali nang is also watching us. Rodel Clotario, mga kaibigan natin sa ano, share sa hotel ito, mga taga Shangri-La, ah. Rodel Clotario. So bisa nakakaano rin no, nagpapahinga sila talaga pagka gaya niya naka-ECQ. So mm. Okay yung bibitaw no malapit na tayo. Okay yung bibitaw. Matatapos na yan. Si Elmer Miklat at si Jun Joko, mga taga Pizza Parlor yan, mga shaky Pizza Parlor. No, magandang gabi po sa inyo. Ayun. Ito na si Melody na to ah. Yes. Camera shy si Melody, ayun sumama na yung gabi. <laughs> um, sa task ba to? So, tough, yes. Oh, sabi ko. <laughs> kilala, kilala na yung tough. <laughs> right. um, so, si Tapa King naman, um, similar to Minute Burger, they were also very um, consistent with the food quality. Um, so, for 30 years, um, even if it was, um, yeah, they have different owners in the past 30 years, um, they still kept true to the quality of the recipes of Tapa Ping. Um, but the brand, um, you know, the brand, I mean, they were consistent with the colors throughout the generations. Um, but parang in terms of like what they were communicating, um, hindi pa siya super solid, at like at least what it was that they stood for. Although their name, like Tapa King, is very descriptive <laughs> naman of what about the, what qualities um, a king would embody. Um, so for Tapa King, it's more of, again, resonating with the millennials. And because um, I'm Gen X and my and baby boomers, but we're happy naman with Tapa King because it's always been a staple. Mm. Um, like when it came to the, like, the ambiance back then, hindi naman natin masyadong iniisip yun. Um, we just needed a place to stay and a place to eat. But nowadays, yung mga, um, diba, yung mga younger generations, they're more exposed to a lot of beautiful um, and Instagram ago. <laughs> yeah. And um, they're also well-traveled, so they see what's in other countries. So, yun, medyo matasing standards nila. And um, their concern with Tapa King was like for the price, parang they can get it somewhere else and have that ambiance. So, parang mm-hmm. that was like usual, like the, the comment that Anna. So, um, what we helped them achieve was um, parang adding more warmth to the store mm-hmm. because when we delved into yung customer more, um, na, na discover na, namin na parang they were getting tired of fast food. Diba? Kasi nga, that's what they eat all the time. And, and Tapa King naman didn't want to be associated with fast food, but they were being associated with fast food because of, again, where they were located, how they were presenting themselves. So parang people thought they were fast food, even if they weren't. Mm-hmm. Um, so... With that, the millennials wanted uh, like a place to 
stay. And um, so we wanted to present Tapaking as like a home away from home. Parang, inga, parang Pinoy visita hospitality so that when people come here, they have home cooked food at the same time in a in a homey atmosphere with with people that are warmer so we depicted that in the in the in the logo and the lighting and the colors so yun, parang it, it's more about um the warmth and even the language it's very um you know parang polite and hospitable and mm-hmm. hospital <laughs> and, and, and Tapa King was really known for being um, more about the, the, the quality food, the, about the generosity, but it wasn't um, parang so obvious like in how it was being presented before. For me, mm-hmm. it wasn't given much, um, I guess. Mm-hmm. Taken intention. for granted, Shay. <laughs> oh. uh, so... And so it's, it was really about like how would you serve somebody who visited your home a meal, diba? it would be home more home. about um, maybe it wouldn't be about plating like um, in a like in a fancy restaurant, but it's about the generosity and the warmth that we wanted to give. Um, and then the packaging. Um, Hello, did it pan? Yep. Yeah, and no, no, I changed now. Yeah, no, yung garlic vinegar. Oo. Oh. Ginugutom na naman ako ng melody. Ayun. <laughs> okay. I'll turn off. Uh, medyo na. Let's just slow down yung wifi. Pinadala na sa'yo, Shera. Hindi mo ba natanggap yung sa'yo? <laughs> baka hinarang, baka hindi kasi halal. <laughs> <laughs> Sa akin, natanggap ko na yung, ano ko eh, yung package ko eh. Ayuda ni Mel eh. Tapaking Ayuda. Salamat, Mel. Kompleto eh. Kape. Oo. Tapos, Tapos yung ano, teka may lalagyan niya nung kape o. Oh. Talagang Ay, alam mong Pinoy. Oo, naalala ko yung... The same, from the same material used sa mga ano yan. Trinola. <laughs> oh, yun. Medyo hindi ko lang sirabi. Pero sige. <laughs> Sasabihin ko lang sa probinsya. Pwede mga plato nung araw, ganyan din. Oo, oh, sa probinsya, di ba? Mm-hmm. And the logo pala is a guitar pick? No way. Mm-hmm. Pupointan That's ko pala ako parang, hmm. Parang Jove, no? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's the, ano? What's the reason for that? Um, we wanted kasi like to highlight the Filipino parang culture and like mm-hmm. diba parang we're very musical and you know, parang it was really about that comfortable vibe that we wanted so mm-hmm. music would add to that so um, we were thinking of having like um, maybe artists in the future <laughs> diba? who could make songs or Mm. Yeah, parang tapa king isn't just um about food or tapa but about Filipino culture. Galing. Mm-mm. And I also like the ano yung incorporation niyo ng crown sa tea. Mm. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, yung incorporation niyo nun. And I also understand usually kasi di ba pag sa mga designers, they like the logo if it's contained. So I think also it helped yung pick eh. kasi minsan pag especially for the ones sa mga hinihingi kayo mga sponsor, di ba? I'd like to be a sponsor of this. Pag sinide by side ka sa mga ibang logos, kung wala kang container, ang dali mong mawala malunod. dun sa... Oh, malulunod, malulunod kay. Uh. Ito, mas, tum, ano siya eh, mas naging apparent siya. 1987 pa pala siya. Ayan. <laughs> And we really wanted to emphasize not the authenticity. So yung, the photos are very real. Like it doesn't look overstyled. Because uh, we wanted it to be more homey and you know, unpretentious. Yung, uh, Galing. So this is the, the store design. So it's, it's really bringing you to the province because the owners are also from the province. And diba, parang people in the city are looking to slow down. So we wanted Tapa King to be a place where they could find a respite when they're you know, in the busy or maybe they're away from their families or living in a dorm or uh, on their own. So parang Tapa King could be that, you know, that warmth that 
they're looking for. Um, so this is all um, the uniform of their waiters and their managers. Um, and can, um, according to Melody, um, when, when we launch the brand internally muna to their employees, because there's three generations of um, Tapaking employees and um, having the brand and yung, having a, um, something that they could all share and relate to was able, but it helped everybody come together in a way that um, yun, yeah, parang even if they came from different um, owners or different, they come from different roles, diba? they all like there's one from R&D or um, marketing, but they all share that um, visita sa bahay warmth and hospitality and what they do, or they understand it to that level um, that they're able to make decisions diba, based on that. Um, this is um, so yung yung brand guidelines na about nga, the brand and not just about like um, how the logo is used, but also like what kind of photos or how would you um, know if this is like a photo of tapaking. And then jan na yung mga criteria so that it helps nga, the people in your company make decisions faster. So according to the marketing head of um, Tapa King, he said that it really helped a lot in how we communicate to customers and how we make our own collaterals. Because they have their in-house designers that um, continue the brand and mobilis na ang direction and approval. So before, when a post would take a while for it to get approved, ngayon parang mas confident na sila to give approvals. Because they guides na. Mm. Um, and then. Uh, Melody um, told us a story that na parang they were able to get um, like franchisees even during the pandemic. So these are old customers who used to be customers of Tapaking and they were actually about to get a different franchise, um, but they really felt the warmth that Melody and her team you know, parang showed them. And, and since they were already a fan of Tapaking, you know, they, they signed up. And yun, they saw nga that Papa King was very progressive. Because um, in the time of a pandemic, when everybody is slowing down and ano, parang nakita nila yung difference ni Papa King. Because nga, um, like they were really, um, I mean, we had to proceed with the our our rebrand. Because nga, ano, eh, parang yeah. So it was actually a, a I mean. A, I'm not saying that the pandemic was the best time to launch a brand, but um, I think that if you look at it two ways or both ways, if you don't launch, then they won't see you um, improve. And then if you do launch during this time, then you'll really stand out from a lot of people because a lot of people aren't really moving. So um yeah this uh, this pandemic it's either there are three kind groups of people that we're seeing and it's either they cope with the pandemic or they see opportunities in the pandemic or they are not reacting to the pandemic which is yeah. and and when i say opportunities i don't mean like opportunistic i mean like um finding ways that you could improve or um innovate um what's happening. So mm -hmm. this was during um, just at the start of the pandemic when they launched and they were able to get 23,000 new Facebook followers in two weeks. And um, they were also able to transition to digital and delivery, which also helped with their sales. So, um, so again, vision without Having any action is just a dream, and but having action with vision, uh, without vision, will just pass them under the time. So, um, I invite everyone to, parang, since we only have one life, diba? and um, to to make your vision greater, diba? than than just about survival, um, because there's always a way to reframe it and 
yeah, find ways that you can bring out your best, even in situations that don't seem like it's, um, it's, it's a very good situation. Um, so. Wow, Linda. So we translated how we help our clients do coach, like we coach them because that's what we realized during the pandemic. Now we can coach people to think of their vision live, um, but we realized that it takes a lot of time and um, <clears throat> from us. So we translated it into a book that people can use or DIY and do it with um, their family members or just alone or maybe their leaders. Um, so it's basically you know, around a, uh, like a journal with questions that will prompt you. Um, so if anyone is interested, um, yeah, we're launching it in October. Nice. Yeah, if if they want to, yeah, I think the next slide will answer my question. <laughs> yan, yan yung tanong ko. If they are, kasi syempre, natease mo na sila eh. So how would they want to get in touch with you if they want to get this toolkit? So um, so a strong brand will start with a clear vision. Um, so our email is brand at bluethumbcreatives.com or you can also go to our Facebook, um, Blue Thumb Creatives or email us at our website. Thank you. Parang speechless ka, Shira. Oo nga eh. Kasi natuwa ako. Kasi ano siya, it's a very um, holistic way to look into branding. And not just um, from my friends in the advertising industry. Kasi minsan gawa tayo by project eh. Na parang papasok lang, may kailangan logo and so on. This one, looks into yung accountability then on the success of the brand kasi small small things done across all in a cohesive manner yun yung talagang magandang epekto eh. no speechless ako eh. ang galing eh mm-hmm. ito si Miss Cherry ano to eh pahambol eh oh, may iain daw siya eh ang galing-galing pala so maraming maraming salamat kay Miss Melody for introducing us to Miss Cherry of course no and uh, very inspiring no Uh, sa mga nagbabalak po magpalaki ng inyong mga restaurant resto negosyo no at saka mga food negosyo I, i'm telling you no i'm i'm want to really uh, reiterate and reinforce na you have to invest in your brand talagang ano po yan eh yan yung ika nga eh ako nga tinan mo no yung ngayon ko lang na realize yung minute burger ganun pala yung personality ng mga may-ari di ba yung tapaking yung storya niya so Very timely and relevant sa panahon ngayon. And uh, parang ayoko na nga i-reveal yung aking ano, share yung aking rest to quote for the week, no? no? Dahil ano, no, dahil ang ganda nung iniwang quote sa atin ni Miss ano, Miss Cherry. But nonetheless, Nelson, Man- I think, Nelson Mandela. Eh. Oo. Ito naman si Jonathan, parang Ayan. Jonathan Swift, no. Actually, parang ano rin, talagang pasok na pasok. So vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. That's what I felt earlier no, yung mga nakik- paano nila nakita yun? Mm. Paano nila? and again no, I I think Miss Cherry would agree with me. It's it, it's about ano eh no, building an intimate more intimate relationship with the the vision ano no, yung mga nag-envision ng brand. Kasi nung kinausap mo no, nakakatuwa yung ganun eh kasi yung frustration ng mga may-ari, hindi nila mai <laughs> hindi nila oh. ma-translate yung gusto nilang gawin. Eh. Kasi magaling lang sila magluto, magaling lang sila mag pero deep inside na ang ganda nung ano no, about sharing about you know human human elements of each brand no and and with this i think we need to give our guest yung final word no yung kanyang uh, message sa ating mga viewers no sige po miss sherry salamat po nang marami go ahead please <clears throat> ano pong inyong final message sa ating mga tagapakinig at tagapanood mula sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo <laughs> natanggal yata yung mic ni Miss. Ginulat mo eh. Oo oh, nga, ikaw eh. <laughs> Sinurprise mo si oh. Miss Cherry eh. Um, so, so they say that, yun nga, because sinasabi nga nila that essentials are the only thing that can survive in a pandemic, I'd like to parang change that thinking na because nga, essentials are not just limited nga to food, water, and shelter. Like, 
um, there are essentials that are important to people's mind, their well-being, their health, um, their emotions, their, their spirit, their passion, so, um, or even their sense of belonging to a, to a community and a belief. So certain brands, if you ask yourself about right, what brands are the ones that you can't live without, it's it's brands that are essential to you and you're not willing to downgrade right, like your phone, for example, or because you have maybe a connection to how you use it or or maybe there's like a certain taste or a way that they take care of you that you know makes you not willing to even try other brands. So if you're able to do that with your brand, but bring yourself to an essential level to the customers that um, yeah, really value what it is that you do, then um, yeah, parang, um, they won't question your value or they won't question your price diba? because nga, they, they see or kung tumaas ka ng presyo ng konti, diba? because you have a brand that is um, very meaningful to them in their minds and hearts um, they won't like react to something like that in fact they might even defend you diba? In, in, in those cases so it's important to um, take time to clarify your vision because you know, your vision is your star and that is what will guide you and your people to take the right actions. And otherwise, um, you know, it's easy for you to get lost kung wala kang vision. And your brand naman is your compass. So the compass is like yung, you know, what, what's important to you, your values. Um, because um, in whether you're in good weather or you're in stormy weather, diba? like a pandemic, which is not in our control, um, you can, parang, there are certain fundamental qualities or essential things that you can stand for. And you know, those are the things like, like for Minute Burger and um, Tapa King, it's about happiness or visita, hospitality. I mean, those are traits that they might not own because other people like the Jolly Bee is about Jolly. I mean, it's similar to happy, but they have their own unique way of delivering these qualities that um, you know, in your own unique way <laughs> that nobody else can get because we're all, 8 billion of us are unique. So impossible that you can't make your brand unique. Yaleng. So, Michelle, anong uh, masasabi mo? Nag-enjoy ka ba? Oh, sobrang na-enjoy. Kasi na natuhog talaga yung, <laughs> natin, yung, yung commitment to excellence. Nakita, di ba? Yung from, yes. from old brands to new brands, talagang you have to be relevant. Oh, again, maraming maraming salamat po, Ms. Sherry. No? Alam nyo po, eh, napakapalad natin ngayong gabi. And again, no, kung nagustuhan nyo po yung episode, please share. No? I-share po natin para mas marami po tayong makinabang. Yung mga nagaganap po sa paligid natin pagka nagiging Tuesday night, 8.30 ng gabi. At least nakakalimutan natin ng isang oras na maraming alalahanin. At sa halip tayo nag-aaral muli, natututo at blessed po tayo. No? Bilis tayo ni Lord na sa 66 episodes, I think we have had 50, 50 guests no? na mga willing mag-share ng kanilang time. Thank you. Again, Miss Cherry, thank you thank po. You so And again, partner, maraming salamat sa'yo. Uh, I'm happy about the news in Kuala Lumpur. No, it's getting better. At susunod na kami dyan. Huwag kayong mag yes. no. It's gonna get better here. So with that, we want to say thank you. And of course, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep your wings up. Magandang gabi po.